Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, is going to be video number three in a series in regard to uh, make modifications to our pressure plate and all the other elements that are going to come behind that, including our pressure vessel and the, the assembly, ultimately. And what we want to do with uh, this right now is we want to make sure that, uh, at least initially, we're going to rename this feature. So I called it bottom lip cut. You can name it in, uh, in the manner you see fit, as long as you have it there, because that's going to be part of the evaluation for next week. You want to make sure you have that. So this will separate those people who have actually looked at the video and learned from it, and those people who haven't. So, the next item we're going to make a modification to is our inner ring, as I call it. And if we take a rollback bar and expose that, if it's in the right order here, we're going to go and uh, make a um, yeah, make a change to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click in the sketch number two, edit that sketch, and you take this dimension and take that dimension off, and put a new dimension on in its place. So that was a 75 uh, millimeter di diameter dimension. I believe it was on the inner circle. What we want to do is we want to put it on the outer circle and then we're going to put it to the edge of our plate. And that's going to be not 85. I didn't really click that right, so let's go ahead and delete that. We're going to click on uh, that circle and then the edge of our plate, and that's going to be 20. Everything else stays the same. We're going to go ahead and rebuild it. And we're done with that. Center hole. We're going to pull that down. We're going to put a cosmetic thread on that. It doesn't really matter which edge we choose. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to insert, just like we did before, annotations, cosmetic thread. And uh, I've already chosen this, but um, or made some selections here. But let's go ahead and click on that edge and start from the top down. And we want to do ANSI metric, but we want to do a straight tap, tap thread here. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us our English standards here, which means it's going to give us a, um, a one inch, uh, a one inch size hole with an 11 and a half inch uh, threads branch and then it's NPSM and that means National pay, uh, Pipe Straight Mechanical that's the kind of thread it's going to be and it's going to be through all so green check mark we have those items there let's continue to move this on I have a suppressed element here for our flathead uh, machine screw holes for our uh, hole wizard elements that we don't have uh, and that's necessarily with this uh, element, so with this uh, model so far. Uh, I went ahead and suppressed it right and then deleted it as the book suggested. I have a fillet. All of our fillets go around here. They, they, they seem to be in the right place, so we're going to move on. But the next thing we want to do is go to our ring boss. And that's not quite in the right place, so to make that consistent with the model that we drew as we're doing our modifications to that, we're going to make sure that it's inside that inner ring, as I call it. So I'm going to go to my sketch 6. I'm going to go ahead and edit that sketch. So now, right now, we have this 35 millimeter diameter. It's going from the center of the circle to the center of our uh, of our plate. So if we go to our leaders, we can see that it's got a center condition here. What we're going to do to this is we're going to take that dimension and delete it and put a new dimension in there, which is going to go from the, that circle itself to the edge of our plate. And that's going to choose the 35 millimeter dimension there too. So it kind of looks like we have the same thing, but in a way, it's a little bit different. Because now, if we go to the leader of that uh, of that dimension, we now have two leaders we're dealing with, or two arcs actually. We have a first arc condition and a second arc condition. So let's go ahead and uh, go through each one of these uh, different um, choices here. We can do the minimum for the first arc. And I believe the first arc was the circle, and the second arc was the the outside of our uh, plate. So if we make that miminized, what it does is it goes to the minimum condition. And if we go to the second arc, which is going to be the edge of our plate, if we made that minimum. And it gives us that one. If we make it to a maximum, it gives us that one. So it goes from the minimum dimension to the maximum dimension. So the minimum dimension is probably what we want, but uh, for the first arc condition, we want to make that maximum. So it's on the maximum in regard to going from the center, I believe is about how that reads. So it's got a maximum dimension there. And what we want here now is a dimension that's going to be 15.5. Now we determine what that's going to be. So it might take a little bit of playing around with those leaders for the dimensions, but go ahead and play around with them. And it all depends on which uh, arc you select the first as to how that's going to look and uh, what the combination's going to be when you finally get it together. 15.5, green check mark, rebuild, puts that in place. So now everything that's uh, uh, affiliated with that after that should just fall right into place. I don't think there's any additional variations we need for that. And finally, our fillet here, our fillet 3, which goes on the inside and the outside of our ring. And I think we're in pretty good shape. 
So that's our pressure plate with the modifications. Thank you for joining me in this. The next uh, video is going to show us how to do our pressure vessel.